what good y'all it's Capaholic and I'm back with another banger man and today we got something a little different for y'all hold up let me get on today we got something a little different for y'all man we got a story time I ain't never done a story time on this channel but don't forget to like comment and if you're new to the channel subscribe man we're gonna get right into this video we're doing a story time but wait if you haven't if you haven't go hit that post notification bell so you get notified every time we drop another banger man Let's get it. We gonna be doing a story time on my first time smoking, you feel me? So, let, so let's rewind all the way back to that day, bro. So it was, fuck, it was a weekend. It was like, I went over to my friend's house. We was chilling. Mind you, I'd never smoked before. I never, I ain't even barely drank before. Like I wasn't, I'm a good kid. I don't be doing that shit, but. And so we was at his house and he had his other friend that I, I knew him because we played Xbox together or whatever, but like that was like my second time hanging out with him. But he was like, hey, I, I know this dude, because he smoked before. He was like, hey, I know this dude on my snap. He has weed. Um, he could get us some weed and come bring it to us. And we we're like, me and my brother, we, we never smoked before. So we we're like, shit, all right, for sure. Let's, let's try it. I ain't never done it before. What happened was he said he had this friend. So we were like, all right, we're going to smoke. And my friends whose house we we're at, he was like, nah i can't smoke because like anyways he was like my parents are hella strict about it about it and they're sleeping right now and if they wake up and catch me not at the house they're gonna be hella mad so you guys just go do it without me so we went to the popeyes parking lot my friend got in the whip with the dude got the weed or whatever and um me and my brother was just sitting in the parking lot waiting for him but um so we got that and then when we was like we had to ask him if he had some papers too because we couldn't go get no papers because this was like my junior year. So he gave us some papers and then we had went, we couldn't go back to my friend's house cause like I said, his his parents won't let us smoke there or even let us have it there. So we had went to, there was like this, what was that? Like a big old tires, like right across the street from that Popeye's which is right by his house. And so we went and hid behind there and we were um, rolling up. And like me and my brother, we had never smoked before so we don't know how to roll or nothing and but my friend he has but he doesn't really know how to roll that good so we're over here trying to piece this thing together mind you it's falling out every which way the papers ripping we're like wasting hella papers so we're just sitting here behind big old tires hella cold outside and shit trying to roll this paper with some weed in it we can't because we don't have a rolling machine or nothing and the weed just it was just falling out everywhere the paper was ripping i was like because i thought my friend knew how to do it and he said he never really done it before so it's literally falling apart we we finally get it to where it's decent but it's still falling apart and then we light it and it's literally still falling apart so i my um my friend hits a little bit because he already smoked before i didn't want to go first or my brother didn't and then my brother hits it and then i get it it's mind you it's literally falling out the weed's falling out while i'm trying to hit it because it's not even closed or anything so then i hit it and we just chill there for a second and then i like finish doing what we're doing right finish smoking or whatever we didn't even get to smoke the whole thing because it was falling apart like you can't it wasn't one of those things where you sit there you just smoke and enjoy it it was like you just had to do it while you could so i was like i thought i wasn't gonna get high because i hit it like once or twice because it was i couldn't hit it no more oh yeah and we had matches we didn't even have a light we had matches we were lighting it with and it wasn't lighting because like so this end that you smoke it from was all the way like closed like it would have been good to smoke through but the other side was just falling apart open so we couldn't even light it because first off we didn't have a lighter and we had to use matches and that wasn't working like at all we're chilling we're walking back so it's like his house is like four four or five minutes from the from the big old tires we're at or behind or i think it was a les schwab or some shit i don't know it was a tire shop but um so we're walking back and i'm feeling good like just feeling regular and then get back to his house bro this is where it all went bad so i never smoke again after this you get back to his house as soon as we hit his because it's, it's his driveway and then like a carport and then his front door as soon as we hit there it hits me bro and it's just like i stop and like everything's moving like in the same repeat motions feels like i'm just over and over and I started like freaking out bro I was like oh shit 
and I started yelling and shit. And my friend, he's outside to meet us to let us in the house, or he had to sneak us in because, I mean, his parents didn't know that we were out of the house. We're fucking, I'm yelling and shit and like freaking out. And then my bro who smoked before, um, I look over at him, I jumped into his arms. I kid you not, I jumped into his arm, another grown man's arms. That was honestly probably the most embarrassing part of it. Like, I jumped into his arms, I was like, bro, where am I, where am I, where am I? And I was freaking the fuck out, bro. So my friend's freaking out as well because he's like, my, my friend whose house it was who didn't smoke, he's freaking out because I'm yelling and shit and he's trying not to get, a, get in trouble, you feel me? And I'm over here blowing the cover and shit. And then my brother's like, bro, just calm down. You're good, you're good. And then so I like kind of calmed down a little bit, but I was still like, I didn't fuck with that at all. I didn't fuck with that at all, bro. All right, I'm kind of cool. And he was like, no, you can't come in, bro. You bit, you were too loud, bro. I can't risk it. You can't come in. Bro wouldn't let me inside of his house. So, so my brother and my other friend who smoked with us had put me in my car and like we were just chilling in my car, like sitting there. But I was still like freaking out, like it was going on and off. Like for a second I'd be regular, and then it would start like, I don't know, bro. It like feels like everything's moving hella slow, but like repeating itself over and over. This is my first time I ever smoking. I never felt nothing like this before. You know what I mean? So like he made me sit in my car for like an hour, bro. He had me sitting in the car for like hour and a half, two hours. So we're chilling in the car, and then he's not letting me in the crib, bro. He would not let us in his crib. It was middle of the night, like, shit, probably like one o'clock in the morning. He was like, nah, bro, you can't come in. You you were too loud, bro, I don't, I don't wanna risk it. And I was like, all right, so I, I ended up falling asleep in my car for a little bit. And then after that, it started to be cool. Like, I was cool, but nah, I don't, I don't fuck with it still, like. And when I say cool, I mean like, I could like, not freak the fuck out, but like, I was still freaking out on the inside, like. I can't even explain that shit, bro. Like, that shit was like one of the worst experiences of my whole life, man. Like, I'll never smoke again. Well, I did smoke again after that because I thought, like, maybe it was because, I don't know. I thought maybe it was because I was, like, under pre not Not necessarily under pressure, but paranoid. Paranoid. Maybe it's because I was paranoid because, like, I was at my friend's house and we had to keep it on the down low and shit. But that's not what it was, bro. I just don't, don't fuck with that shit. I even tried it after that and same shit. But anyways, so I'm starting to feel better. And he's like, my bro's like, all right, you can come in the house. So we go in the house. The first thing I do, bro, is I don't want to do, I don't want to do nothing else. I don't want to do nothing. I don't want to play the game. I, I, I don't want to play the game. I don't want to do nothing, bro. Watch no TV. I just go straight to bed. Just go straight to bed. Like, that's all I did. I went in there. I went the fuck to sleep. I, you don't even know how happy I was to wake up the next morning. Like that, if you if you smoke, I'm cool with that, bro. You go ahead and smoke, and I don't have nothing against it, but I do not fuck with that shit. I literally jumped into my bro's arm. Like, we was walking back up. We were walking back up to his house. We get there, it hits me as soon as we get in his driveway. He's standing outside. As soon as we get in his driveway, I would start freaking out. I'm like, what the fuck? What's going on? What the fuck's going on? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? And I jump into my bro's arms. Another dude. I jumped into his arm, bro. That was so bad. That was so bad, bro. But anyways, man, that's the end of the story, bro. Thank you guys for watching. We going up, man. Let's get to that 200 sub mark. Let's get to that 200 subs. Give away at 200 subs. You feel me? Wait, no, no. We already had 200 subs. Scratch what I said in the beginning. Let's get it at 300 subs, man. Giveaway at 300 subs, man. You guys already seen what we did at 200 subs. We're going to keep upping it. As the subs go up, you feel me. But anyways, if you want more story times, I got some more. Just let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys like, comment. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, man. Don't forget to subscribe to the bro, OPJ. He doing all the 2K21 content you need. Next gen, get at, bro. Anyways, man, thank you guys for watching. Cabaholic out.